Hello everybody and welcome to an FS Elite Review. My name is Patrick and today we are going to check out Worldwide Airports HD by Rex Simulations. And uh, when you open it up, this is first what you're going to see. On the left here, this is where you edit the textures. And uh, you have a night and a day option. They're showing you what both will look like when you load them in. And uh, you just click that at the bottom. And you have these arrows, and you can go through uh, through these. This is for the main terminals. There's 15 different choices that you can go through. And here's the night texture for number 14 out of 15. Now, next will be the buildings and facilities. Uh, skipped over number one, but it's um, almost the same thing. You have about... Uh, three choices for these. You have four choices for the small hangers. The little Cessna logo there is a nice touch, makes it feel like it's a more uh, real-life hainer. And at the bottom there's, there's five different uh, textures that it uses for this. Here's the medium hainers. Next we have the large hainers. Four choices for all these hainers. Now we have the ground environments. This is where you can change the runways. You can do the light use or heavy use up at the top here. We're going to keep it on uh, heavy use today. And I'll just click through here. These are some of the different runways you can have. These are a lot more realistic than the ones in uh, Rex 4, I will say. Nice little uh, touch there with the different texture and, and cracks in the runway. I really like that. And you have 17 of these to pick from. Over here you have the concrete. And uh, this will show you the other things that will change. Uh, like the uh, taxiway markings, the parking spot markings with oil stains and all of that great stuff. Paint looks nice in this. Signs, and you can also do the grass. Next is the main jetways. You have 16 different choices for these, which is awesome. They have pretty much every uh, style available. And uh, again, you can just click through these and select whatever you want. Next is the airport lighting. They have a few good ones in here. Um, ones like this where the lights bleed together, that's a pretty nice effect. Just depends what you want. They have a lot of different options for you. Next is the vehicle models. Now you have three choices here and you can select a uh, blue, yellow, or white color for each one. These are the uh, aircraft vehicles that will be pushing the aircraft back from the gate. Then you have the service vehicles like the fuel and the baggage vehicles. So we're going to do the baggage vehicle white. We'll do the fuel truck yellow and uh, we'll leave that blue. And lastly, we have parking garages that you can set up. Four choices and uh, you can pick which, which parking garage you want. Okay, now we looked at the interface, let's take a look at the airport itself. Here's the outside of the airport and the jetway. Gorgeous textures with nice reflections. Here's some of the vehicles. Runway textures. Now what I also like about this is the paint isn't perfect. You know, there's little cracks in it and little blemishes and that gives it a nice touch. Now the night textures are gorgeous too. We're taking a look at the outside of the airport here. And uh, looks nice in the terminals there and the jetways look great. There's a different texture set up right here.
Okay, now we're going to hop in the Cessna and just take a little look at what it's like to cruise around the airport. Here's some of the hangers. You can read the writing on there. There's some fans attached to the wall. And then there's a few more out in the distance there. And now turning on the runway to give you a good look at the runway texture. Frames are... Uh, I didn't experience any difference in frames per second. Just the usual little lags here or there, but... Now here's another view of the Hainers, and I just want to say this program is not going to work miracles if there's still going to be some rough spots in the scenery like you see here. If you just have a uh, poor scenery, you're, you know, it's, it'll enhance it a little bit, but it's still going to look, you know, like a non-payware airport. So uh, here are the vehicles in uh, the sim. Here's the fuel truck, baggage carrier, and, and the conveyor belt. And there's also a tug, and that looks nice. Again, you can add that to uh, three different colors. Now, you can uh, push back with it, and the only unfortunate thing is it kind of shakes. It has a really jerky movement while it's doing the pushback, and I assume that will be fixed within one of the updates, but right now, that's what it does. But it looks very nice, and um, if you don't have GSX, it's really cool to have this going on. As you can see here, even on the 737, it kind of still has that jerky movement, but uh, I'm confident that will be fixed. Now this is one of those programs that's going to get better and better over time as they do updates, so also keep that in mind when purchasing. Um, I gave this 8 out of 10 for the features, 10 out of 10 on performance. 8 out of 10 on presentation, and 8 out of 10 on the value, leaving it 8.5 out of 10. Now, if you would like to purchase this, head over to Rec Simulations website and uh, head over to the Buy Now button and purchase it from your favorite flight sim store. If you would like to see more reviews and articles like this, head over to fselite.net where you can see tons of stuff like that, great information. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please send it to info at fselite.net. All right, everybody, this is Patrick signing off. We hope you enjoyed our review of Worldwide Airports HD by Rex Simulations.